Over the years, a few of my friends have become a little too sophisticated, too urbane, too cosmopolitan to eat here at Frank Gordy's place. They finally caved in to the pressure of snob appeal and the desire to be trendy and went hunting for the more fashionable places. The places that offered polyester tablecloths and the places that offered imitation sterling silver. Well, I've always kind of thought it was their loss because they never really understood. They never really understood what Frank Gordy was selling here in the first place. In addition to the hamburgers, the famous varsity dogs, and the famous fried pies, the best fried pies in Atlanta, Frank Gordy was selling something else. He was selling an Atlanta success story. A success story that started over on the old location at North Avenue and Hemp Hill Avenue when Frank Gordy was the first, Frank Gordy was the only varsity employee. A success story that continued at this current location when Frank Gordy bet his last dime that he could make hot dogs and hamburgers and fried pies that were better than anything being sold over at the old Georgia Tech cafeteria. Well, Frank Gordy was right, and the varsity became an Atlanta institution. My friends never really understood the risk that Frank Gordy took in this location. Come on through. They never really understood how Frank Gordy was simply betting that people would come here, all kinds of people from all kinds of places. They never understood the risk that he took the year we had the great bank holiday. When he risked more than $50,000 by cashing checks for hundreds of Atlantans, Frank Gordy just bet that most of those checks would be good. And they were. Frank Gordy knew he would never lose a dime, and he didn't, because he made an investment in people. And he hoped that those people in whom he made an investment would never prefer polyester tablecloths and artificial silver. From the Varsity, with a comment, I'm Ron Salem.